this town wakes you up at 7am with some bells, which is quite nice. Well, I guess that's a good time to say bonjour. I've just had a flannel wash in the van. First flannel wash of, since moving back in. So in yesterday's episode, I started making elderflower cordial. I had to leave it overnight to stew. So next I need to strain that mixture. Get all those juices. Apparently rolling it brings out the juices. Thank you, Isabel. Mmm, that's nice. This morning, while Tom finishes off the edit, I'm gonna get our services done. And this air we're staying at is fantastic. It's completely free to stay, and it looks like a proper campsite. You've got your own little pitches. We're so lucky to get a spot, because there was only four spaces, and I did, I did see another camper turn up last night, and they didn't get a space. <laughs> Quite heavy. We've been editing for longer than usual this morning. So basically our GoPro and our Canon camera had different times set on the camera. So all the video footage is all jumbled up. So it's taken me ages to do it. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna have a break now. Still not finished. So we just spotted a little car for inside the road. We're going to get some stuff for a picnic to have by the river. Some picnic goodies. Got told off for using my camera in there. Getting some more fuel. We have been noticing we're spending a lot more now on this trip than we had had done on our previous one around Scotland and Ireland because there we were just travelling so slow. Here. Yeah, we filled up a few times already. This is definitely going to be our biggest cost on this trip. I've got 80, that's enough. The houses here in Normandy are really distinctive. They're timber frames, they've got the crisscross style on them. We've just arrived at our picnic spot and this is exactly what we wanted. We were looking on Park for Night for ages this morning trying to find something. And um, I need a wash. So we, we have to cross the River Seine somehow. There's three options. There's a really nice bridge that costs 10 euros, a not so nice bridge that costs five euros, uh, but it's quick, or there's a car ferry for free. Which one do you think we're gonna take? There was no messing about. I think like we, we literally were just following a sign to yeah, a ferry and like now we we're on a ferry. accidentally timed it perfectly. We just drove straight on. That was amazing. Yeah. Oh, really? oh, oh. Oh, that is a way to travel.
Here's my pasta ready. Al dente. Mm -hmm. Right, we're gonna eat this pasta, drink some wine, and we'll see you tomorrow. No, it's not that you don't like them, it's just that you prefer peaches, right? I don't have any loyalty to the peach next to it. I'm sure I remember in Portugal you used to only want peaches. Or maybe it's because I always no, bought next to <laughs> You eat them raw, like well, not raw, but you eat them before they're ripe, and then I don't get to eat anything. So if I buy a peach, you won't eat it, and they can actually get ripe. <laughs> But it is like, it's like, like unripe fruit. It's horrible. Like hard, crunchy. <laughs>